So, hi, my name is Fabian Bausiger, and I'm working on the reconstruction of magnetic resonance fingerprinting. So, uh, magnetic resonance fingerprinting, or MRF, is a concept for quantitative uh, MR imaging. It relies on a pseudo-randomized uh, sequence uh, with undersampling of the case space. So from this acquisition, which is usually quite fast, in our case 50 seconds, uh, we obtain unique signal evolution or fingerprints per tissue type at each voxel. Using uh, these fingerprints, we can match them to a dictionary of pre-computed fingerprints and reconstruct parametric maps. Unfortunately, this process is quite slow, can require several hours. So we aim to use uh, deep learning uh, to replace this dictionary matching. Uh, we use an MRF sequence to image disease skeletal muscles with five parametric maps, and we have a data set of 164 uh, patients, uh, which is highly heterogeneous. So our method uh, relies on a 2D CNN, which reconstructs the parametric maps patchwise, so we input uh, a patch of fingerprints and predict the parametric maps at this uh, location. Details of the CNN come to my poster. So regarding the results, we have uh, quite good agreement between the dictionary matching and our uh, reconstruction quantitatively and qualitatively. So we were in particular interested in the spatial and temporal influence uh, of the reconstruction in this study. So uh, regarding the spatial influence, we were right the uh, receptive field of the CNN on the x-axis from one squared to 21 squared, and we also were right the number of parameters of the CNN. And we found that the uh, receptive, receptive fields uh, between 15 squared and 21 squared work uh, fairly good for our uh, MRF sequence. So regarding the temporal influence, uh, we applied occlusion experiments to the temporal dimension of the fingerprints, and we found that uh, at the first few temporal frames, we have a quite high importance for T1 quantification, which makes physically sense because we apply an inversion pulse uh, at the very beginning of the sequence. We also have quite uh, a high correlation between the importance and the changes of the AMRF sequence. So in conclusion, uh, AMRF reconstruction using deep learning is feasible, it's accurate and fast, and we found that we benefit from the spatial correlation of fingerprints for the reconstruction and that the CNN extracts physically meaningful features from the fingerprints. Uh, come and visit me at the poster uh, FT4. Thank you very much.